In this video, we're going to talk about zoom factors and ratios of similarity. A zoom factor is just the number you multiply a figure by to get an enlarged or reduced figure. So if you look at the example that we have here, we've got this puppy that is 5 units tall, and then the next one is 15 units tall. In order to get from 5 to 15, you just multiply by 3, so our zoom factor for this problem would equal 3. If we wanted to do a ratio of similarity, it's just a ratio between any pair of corresponding sides and similar figures. Since it's a ratio, we're going to write our answer as a fraction. And there's actually two ways to do this ratio. If we were going to do the ratio of the original to the enlarged figure, then what I would do is have 5 over 15, which would reduce to be 1 third. The other option would be to do the enlarged figure over the original figure. So then we would start with 15 over 5, which again would give us 3 as our answer. Let's take a look at an example where we've got a couple of sailboats that we're going to compare. So if we were going to try to figure out what the ratio of similarity is between these two sailboats, this time we're specifically asked to give the ratio of the large boat to the small boat. So we're going to make sure that we do the large boat on the top of our fraction or in the numerator and the small boat in the denominator. What we're going to want to do there is make sure that we're comparing two sides that match up or correspond to each other. So it looks to me like this side right here, this 18, is going to match up with this side right here, this 13. So that means that our ratio is going to be 18 over 13. So that means that our ratio is going to be 18 over 13. Now next we're going to see if we can solve for x. We're going to use that ratio, 18 over 13, and set up a proportion. So we've already got part of our proportion set up. Now we just need to try to find some other sides that match up. And it looks like this height right here, this x, is going to match up with this 3. I'm going to make sure that I'm consistent in putting the x in the numerator. X was for that bigger sailboat, and I put 18 from the bigger sailboat on the numerator of the first fraction, so I want to make sure that I use the side length from the bigger fraction, or from the bigger figure, I should say, on the other fraction as well. So I'm going to put X in my numerator, and then I'm going to put 3 in my denominator. Next thing that I want to do is to cross-multiply. So if I was going to cross-multiply, I would do 13 times X, which is going to give me 13x, and then I would also multiply 18 times 3, which is 54. Last thing I'd need to do is just divide, and if I divide those answers, I should get an answer of 4.15 if I round. So just a couple of key things to keep in mind. When you set up your proportion, make sure that you're consistent. If you choose to put the bigger object or the bigger figure in the numerator, make sure you do that for both fractions. And then likewise, you would put the smaller figure in the denominator for both fractions. Another thing to keep in mind is that after you set up your proportion, you should be able to cross multiply to solve for a missing side length or to solve for a variable. Good luck!